Let's make custom nether and end stone ores. Let's see how to do that. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, <laughs> it's not going to be an ASMR, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to be adding custom ores to the, our nether and the end as well. So once again, one of those things that I've briefly talked about, but that has, some people have had issues with, but no worries at all. We're going to do this as well. So let's just go up to our, you know, we already have our ores here inside of it. If you don't have those actually created, then of course you should create those as well. The netherrack ore and the citrine uh, endstone ore. And now we're going to spawn those in the world. So how are we going to spawn those in the world? Well, it's actually not going to be that difficult. So we just want to go to our mod configured feature class. So this is going to be this one right here. And here we have the overworld citrine ores. So that's totally fine. But now, of course, we still need we need a new list for end and also well the nether citrine ores. So this is going to be the end citrine ores. First thing we can do is, even though this is still going to be a list, we only need one contender, so to speak. So we only need one thing in here. So that's going to be fine. And of course, this is not going to take the stone replaceables. This should be the end stone replaceable, something like that. But in our, the ore feature for middle mouse button click, you can see nothing like that sadly exists. So we have to do this ourselves. Now, this is where some people have had issues, but it's actually very, very straightforward. We just want a new block match test right here. Pass in blocks and stone, and that is it. Here, we then want to specify the ore that spawns. This is, of course, the end stone citrine ore, and that is it. Then here for the nether, what we can do is we can just call this nether as well. Once again, only want one thing in the list here. And here we can even take the nether ore replaceables and then use the nether rack citrine ore right here. We then want to, well, duplicate this holder as well. So this is then going to be the end underscore citrine ore. And this is going to be the nether underscore citrine ore. Making sure that we change this right here. So the into the in the ore configuration right here, we want to change the what it points to. So this is end citrine ores. And then this is nether citrine ores. You can basically check whether or not this works. If all three of your lists are, you know, different color, basically, than gray. So keep that in mind. And we also have to change the name. That is very important. Keep this in mind. Change the name as well. So this is going to be the nether underscore citrine ore. And then, I mean, we're just going to keep the sizes as they are at the moment. You know, you can, of course, once again... Every time I say this, play around with the numbers a little bit and, you know, just try out and see what you can find with it. So we, of course, still have to spawn this. And for that, we still need placed feature. So that's not in the or placement class, though, in the mod placed features class. There you go. And we're just going to copy this one over as well. Once again, so we're going to have the end underscore citrine or placed and the nether underscore citrine or placed. Now, this is, of course, going to take the end citrine ore right here. And this is going to be taking the nether citrine ore. Once again, change the name here. Incredibly important. Otherwise, your game will not actually function. It's not going to actually work. The numbers here, obviously, is something that you should, you know, maybe change. Take a look at some other, you know, height range map placement stuff. Uh, let's actually do a uniform here in this case, because I, this is going to make it a little bit easier to find the end or and the nether ore. Of course, we still need to add this to the mod ore generation right here. So here what we can do is, well, we can either just, you know, let it generate or what we can do is we can just say, hey, if event.getCategory is equal to biome.category, and we're not going to choose beach, but the first one is going to be the end exactly. Then what we want to do is we want to add mod placed features dot end citrine or placed. There you go. I'm just going to duplicate this. We're going to say if the category of the biome is going to be nether, then we're going to add the nether citrine ore placed. And that is it. Now our custom end and nether ores will also spawn in the world. So let's make a new world and see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and I've actually already found the custom citrine ore right here. And there's another pocket right here. You can see it definitely is spawning. It does look very similar to the gold. That's why I have both of them in my inventory. So I can just middle mouse button click at this. Another one. There you go. Another one. So you can see it is already spawning. So let's now go to the end and see if we can find the end stone over as well. All right. And just like that, we're in the end. And let's just see. I mean, there we go. There's some citrine ore already right here. And we can basically fly around. There's a lot more right here. So there's another pocket. Let's see if we can... Find some more. I don't even know what the Y level of this is. 19. Okay, it's good that we put in uh, the uniform distribution because that's going to make it a little bit easier. Let's see if we can find an, one more pocket. And, um, you know, most of the endstone 
probably all going to be... I mean, there is some more. There you go. Uh, so there's going to be uh, all of it inside of the actual rock, right? So if we were to dig down, or if we delete a big part of this island, right? A lot of those blocks, we're gonna, probably going to find a lot of the ores inside of the actual island instead of outside of it. Uh, this is, of course, also something you can change where you're like, hey, I actually want the uh, them to spawn more with the air exposed versus I actually want to spawn them more without the air exposures. That also would work. But yeah. They're spawning and it's really freaking awesome. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. So, yeah.